Here's a fun fact to tell your family around the dinner table. There are about 3 million shipwrecks in oceans all over the world. Okay, don't lead with that one. But hey, not only that, certain airlines show their location on the in-flight map. Now, that seems a little odd, so why would they do it? Well, for starters, it keeps boredom at bay. If you've ever flown transatlantic or Pacific, you know that feeling. You're five hours in, you've already watched as many movies as you can stand, can't sleep and bored out of your mind. You try to fight the urge because you know it only makes the time go that much slower. But you cave in and decide to check the flight map. Nothing but endless ocean on the screen. If you can look at some famous shipwrecks, then at least it's something. And while you're entertaining yourself, remember that it's also educational. In other words, this stuff is a part of history. I mean, look at the Titanic. It's probably the most well-known shipwreck of all time. People are still finding new evidence and theories about what sank the Titan of the Sea over a century ago. As it turns out, the Titanic isn't alone out there, since nearly a quarter of all sunken shipwrecks are in the North Atlantic Ocean. Besides, the locations and names of these ships the year they sank is also included. The Titanic went down in 1912, a fact that will easily be ingrained in your mind if you look at it on a screen long enough. Simply because we have the tech to do it. While some passengers reportedly feel uneasy seeing the location of different wrecked vessels, rather than focus on the bad, it might be helpful to give thanks for modern technology. We no longer have to sail the high seas for months at a time to cross the ocean. We can quickly check the progress of our flights using a touchscreen and get a history lesson all at once. It's important. First, we should always remember these events because they affected so many lives and likely changed the course of history. Did you know that US steel tycoon JP Morgan was supposed to be on the Titanic? Him, along with famous chocolatier Milton Hershey, radio communication inventor Marconi. They're just some of the big name changers we could have lost. Plus, some ships not only have historical value, but ecological importance too. If a vessel is under the water long enough to turn into a reef, the area can become rich with biodiversity, thus warranting protection. It's just the start. If you're a frequent international flyer, then you may be thinking, I've stared at plenty of in-flight maps, and I've never seen any shipwrecks on there. Yes, this practice is becoming less and less common, probably because, despite the reasons I've given, passengers just don't want to be reminded of travel disasters, even century-old maritime ones. Because, well, obviously. <laughs> For what it's worth, they are moving away from shipwrecks and planning to include more natural sites to check out. Underwater volcanoes, trenches, tectonic plates. I only see endless educational possibilities. On that note, let's take a look at some famous and valuable shipwrecks you might have a chance to peek at from 35,000 feet up. The Belitung Shipwreck Belitung Island lies in Indonesia, and a fisherman happened to stumble upon this gold mine. Crystals, sapphires, and rubies, the typical treasures that would make anyone's eyeballs turn into dollar signs. Not only that, this ship went down in history for carrying the most massive gold cup ever discovered. The total value? $80 million. SS Central America This vessel was also known as the Ship of Gold, and rightfully so. It carried 15 tons of the stuff. It sank near the coast of the Carolinas because of a hurricane in 1857, but it wasn't found until 1988. All this recovered gold was valued between $100 and $150 million. And get this, 92% was given to the team that discovered it. Congrats to Ohio's Columbus American Discovery Group. And uh, you think you guys can spot me a few bucks? The Antikythera Treasures the first-ever sunken ship expedition on record was found by Greek divers in 1900. It was filled with glass, pottery, and statues. But the most significant discovery was made in 1976, when they realized the ship also carried the world's first analog computer. 
scientists are still scratching their heads over the Antikythera machine. Its value rounds out to somewhere between $120 to $160 million. The Titanic Many of the passengers on board the Titanic were incredibly wealthy people. The collection of gold, silver, diamonds, and pricey artifacts it carried surpasses the $300 million mark. So what happens with these items when they're found? Many of them are on display in museums all over the world, but others have been auctioned to private buyers. The most recent auctions took place in 2012 and 2015, bringing in $189 million. But it's still not at the top of this list. The Wydog Galley With a value counting in at a whopping $400 million, this ship was actually captured by a pirate. Does the name Black Sam Bellamy ring a bell? Refresher, he was one of the richest pirates that ever lived. It sank in 1717, but wasn't discovered until 1984. Precious artifacts are still being recovered, and they include jewelry, cannons, and coins. Nuestra Senora de Atocha The Atocha went down off the coast of the Florida Keys in 1622. When she was discovered in 1985, she had tons of Muzo emeralds, the best in the world, jewels, silver, and gold. Her weight didn't help her sailing cause. It reportedly took a couple of months to load everything onto the ship before departure. 75% of the documented $450 million value was awarded to the person who found it. The Salcombe Shipwreck One of the most recent discoveries happened in 2010, and the total value is still being assessed. Believed to have sunk between 890 and 1120 CE, the ship's historical importance far outweighs its jewels. The Salcombe is proof that trade occurred between Britain and Europe during this time. The Yulubarun Shipwreck And now, one of the oldest shipwrecks. This one occurred off the southwestern coast of Turkey around the 14th century BCE, but it was discovered in 1982. Divers found a variety of riches, including jewels, silver, gold, and other trade items. They were all extracted over 10 years, and the goods equaled 17 tons in weight. The value? Well, again, what it means for the preservation and better understanding of history is priceless. Okay, I could go on forever, so I'll let you finish the list down in the comments. Do you know any other famous shipwrecks? Tell me all about them. We still wouldn't be able to touch all the shipwrecks out there, because only 1% of them have been explored. Now why is that? Well, for one, there's a lack of time and resources to explore most of them. And that's a real problem, since the longer ships remain underwater, the more likely they are to deteriorate. NOAA, or the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, has checked out only 10% of the shipwrecks within the perimeter of their 14 national marine sanctuaries. They're located all along the coasts of the continental US, Hawaii, and American Samoa. These particular spots are preserved, and when they find ships, the group assesses how they can affect the surrounding area's ecology. And here's an interesting tidbit. Most shipwrecks are located near coasts at the openings of ports and harbors. It's kind of like the statistic that most accidents happen within a mile of your home. Perhaps people act more carelessly when they're approaching a safe harbor. Well, that and the weather can get nasty near the coast. There's roughly $60 billion worth of sunken treasure all over the world. Excavating these sites brings in a ton of historical value, too. Still, about 90% of the seafloor is mostly unexplored. That's why the Ocean Discovery X Prize, formerly a space exploration organization, is offering $7 million to groups that will build autonomous underwater vehicles and make maps of the ocean floor. Hmm, looks like you and me have some deep sea treasure hunting to do, Brightsider. What do you say? You in? Hey, if you learned something new today, then give the video a like and share it with a friend. And here are some other videos I think you'll enjoy. Just click to the left or right. And remember, stay on the bright side of life.